Matt, as the godfather of talent optimization, what tips you have in terms of phone preparation for candidates? Yeah, the first is going to be very similar to whether it's a phone conversation or any other type of conversation. You want to make sure that you've done your homework. You want to make sure that you understand the company, you've gone to their website, you've looked at their glass door profiles, you've just anything and everything you can find on the public web. Maybe do a LinkedIn search and find other types of people who've worked there, what they're posting about and sharing. Uh, mm -hmm. If you've gotten to the point where you're making a phone interview with the company, you want to make sure that you honor their time by making sure that you've done your homework. Mm -hmm. Another would be that you want to really know the audience. Find out as much as you can about who you'll be speaking with so you can really understand their perspective, their role in the organization, maybe some of their goals. Uh, to the extent you can find out those things ahead of the interview, you want to show up and have some context so that you can really uh, shine and, and impress them. Yeah. I think also on the phone, you know, you want to really focus on your audio quality. Yeah. So if you're going to call in from a cell phone, try not to be moving around, you know, don't be in a car that's noisy, these yeah. things, uh, little things can make a big difference. So if you can make sure that your, your audio quality is good, try, mm -hmm. you know, try to call from, a, um, you know, if, if you use your earbuds and these things, just make sure that you can get to a quiet place. Yes. You don't want to have people to have a hard time hearing you or having any sort of connection energy or connection issues. And the last one is good energy. You know, yeah. phone, you're carrying everything with your voice. So you've yes. really got to try your hardest to try to be emotive. If you're excited about something that mm -hmm. you did, maybe a big project where you had a big win, be excited with yeah. your voice because yeah. you don't have the chance like you do face to face or even on video to convey mm -hmm. that, you know, the, the audio is all that you have. Yeah. If you're, if you're uh, you know, thoughtful and, and, and parroting back what you've heard, those are all things you can do. Uh, just pay real close attention if you're doing phone only interviews to, to that voice of yours. Those are great tips. Thank you, Matt. And do you recommend to ask questions at the end for the phone interview? Uh, next steps, because if you're having a phone interview, that means that you're not done. You're not going to get the job, most likely, after the mm -hmm. end of a great phone interview. That was a, a step in the screening process. And mm -hmm. we screen candidates in and we screen candidates out. And I think that um, you always want to ask, did you get all of your needs met? Mm -hmm. Did I give you all the information that you were looking for today? Mm -hmm. What's the next step after this, if mm -hmm. we're going to be moving forward? Demonstrating an interest in taking that next step. I'm excited to learn more about your company mm -hmm. when we connect with the rest of the interview team. You know, trying to convey those things. A good mm -hmm. way to finish a question is just to understand, okay, I know we're in the middle of the process. What's the next step? Yeah. Those are great tips. Thank you, Matt. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of phone interview, please leave comments below and tune in tomorrow for another great question with Matt.